Hi Libra, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in the area of love for the week of January 4th to January 10th, 2021. What awaits for you in the area of love for January 4th to January 10th, 2021? So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your energies and then I'm going to look at the energies of Whoever it is that you are connecting to um, in the area of love, whoever it is that you are thinking about, interested in, um, dating, whatever it might be, we are going to look at the energy of that person too. And then we're going to look at the outcome. So let's get started here. I'm going to give one last shuffle. And we're going to start with your energy. What is the energy of Libra Spirit? What is the individual energy of Libra in regards to love, in regards to this connection? Okay, so let's get started here. First card we have is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords. So there is heartbreak here. There is some sort of um, emotional pain. And we have here the Five of Cups reversed. The Five of Cups reversed. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like with this card you're trying to come back to a place of balance here. Because the Five of Cups um, reversed returns back to the Four of Cups which is not particularly a, a positive card, the Four of Cups, but um, because it still represents um, uh, emotional dissatisfaction. However, it is more balanced though because it is a Four. So I do feel like you're trying to return to a place of balance. You did. I do feel like you're going through some heartbreak here. Um, this could be a separation, this could be um, a divorce, um, or it could be some sort of betrayal um, where the person just kind of left you, which is what I'm kind of feeling. I do feel like this person just um, uh, almost, I feel like they left you abruptly. For some, pe for some of you, I feel like it was abrupt. Um, but for others of you, I just feel like it was um, something that you didn't really see coming. Yeah, I didn't like, like it was. Um, it's, it wasn't something that you wanted, or that you see any reason for. I almost feel like you don't, you don't see any reason for. Or this separation or for this to have happened whatever it is that happened here um. but you are returning um, to a place of balance emotional balance here um. you're doing the work I feel you're doing the work to to heal yourself and to um, I almost look at. I almost feel like you're trying to, you know, um, be objective, like, um, and yeah, you're doing the work to uh, like look at things from a different perspective. I feel like you're doing your own healing here. You're you're taking charge of your own healing. Okay, let me see the two cards to represent um, whoever it is that you are connecting to. What is their energy spirit? The other person. We have here the Two of Pentacles reversed. And we have here the Star reversed. This is a star upright. So with the Two of Pentacles reversed, this always um, to me tells me that someone made a decision. That someone was... Um, Previously, they were in a state of indecision, 
um, they were balancing two different options or juggling two different options um, but when it's reversed I do feel like they they came to a conclusion or they made a decision now with the star reverse I almost feel like it's um, like it's an unfavorable decision um, it's almost like they made the decision to to come down to reality because when it's when the star is upright is making a wish and hoping for something and waiting for something having faith that something will work out but when it's reversed it's like a little bit of a pessimistic energy I feel um, where this person is kind of surrendering or giving up I feel um, yeah it feels kind of negative it feels like they're just deciding not to believe anymore deciding not to not to have patience anymore not to wait anymore um, it almost feels like yeah like they're giving up um, and it almost feels like they're saying you know um, like you know what this is reality and um, it's this is not the reality I like or that I wanted or wish for but this is what what is this is what the reality is so I'm just going to give up and um, and I'm not gonna fight the current anymore that's what I'm feeling there <clears throat> I'm going to pick some clarification cards just to give some further information. I'm going to use a different deck here. <clears throat> Let's clarify the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups reversed on your side. Let's see what that is about. Spirit, clarify here the Three of Swords and Five of Cups reversed for Libra in terms of their personal energy. Clarifying the Three of Swords and Five of Swords. Okay, we have here the Ten of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles upright. So this does represent home, family, marriage, um, commitment, relationship. So there might have been a heartbreak related to this, um, some sort of, it's like you had something established here. There was something that was stable in your life and that, um, yeah, it's like you suffered some, a loss here in terms of this stability that you used to have. Okay, let's get another card to clarify, please, Spirit. I'm just going to randomly pick one. I'm feeling that energy. Randomly picking a card here. Okay, we have here the Four of Swords upright. The Four of Swords upright. So this is you again, like I was saying. You're trying to regain a sense of balance. You're trying to regain a sense of balance. You're in this place of meditation here, um, of introspection, um, and, uh, and I see here that these hands are in a position of prayer, almost like you're praying, so I do feel like you're having um, hope that things will work out in the end, even though things are um, a little bit um, in a state of chaos or... Um, and even if you're in a state of emotional pain at the moment, where you're suffering, like I said, some sort of loss and some sort of heartbreak, I do feel like you're trusting that um, that the universe is going to help you, that the angels are going to help you, and that things are going to um, things are going to get better and things are going to work out. So I do feel like you're in this position here of of trusting. In a, in a higher power, 
in a higher source. Um, so I do feel like that's a really good energy, Libra there. Now let's see um, this other person, some clarification for the other person. What is the Two of Pentacles reverse and the Star reverse spirit? Please clarify these two cards in terms of the energy of this other person, whoever this value is connecting to. Okay, we have here the Ace of Swords upright. The Ace of Swords upright. <clears throat> This is a card of truth, of honesty, of communication. <clears throat> so I feel like this person definitely, um, it's almost like they, they revealed some truth, I feel. Or it's almost like, let's, let's say, let's tell it how it is. I'm, that's what I'm feeling, like this person is being blunt here, being direct. Um, I feel like they might be confessing something or revealing something here. Um, like telling telling the truth about something. And maybe it's this sword, this so sword of truth. Maybe this is what created this heartbreak, you know? Um, this is this could be a third party situation. It's possible that someone else is involved in this relationship and this connection. That might be what this sort of truth is about. Um, but it does feel a little bit harsh. A little feels a little bit um, yeah, like harsh or rude. Like I almost feel like this person told you something in a rude way or in a harsh way. Um, and yeah, they didn't, it's almost like they didn't really think about your feelings. They just said whatever they had to say in a, in a very, um, direct and blunt way. And in my, like I, like I said, I feel like it, it, they revealed some truth to you here that you didn't know and before and it doesn't feel positive. And this might have been like something painful that they revealed to you. Let's get another card here for Libra. Um, clarifying here the Two of Pentacles Reverse and the Star Reverse for this person, the other person. Get another card of clarification, please, Spirit. Okay, we have here the Seven of Wands Reverse, Seven of Wands Reverse. Um, I almost feel like this is a card of Ego here with the Seven of Wands Reverse. It comes back to the Six of Wands upright, so I do feel like this person, um, I feel a little bit of an Ego here, um, or arrogance a little. Um, I do feel like this person wants to go off on their own and do their own thing. And it's almost like they found something that is better for them. or um, And because of this, it's like they're just leaving you back behind, I feel. It's like they're not including you in whatever it is that... Um, in whatever new direction it is that they're going in. Um, we said I do feel like they're going in some sort of new direction with this card. Um, and it's like they're just leaving everyone else, everyone behind, including you. Yeah, so, um, I do feel like maybe this could be that they got some sort of promotion or they got some sort of ray, um, new opportunity in the area of work or career or finances or just in life in general I almost feel like they just they they won something or they they gained something new 
and with this with this new thing that they gained it's like they're heading in a different direction now and um, it's almost like they're separating from, from you but it does feel a little bit cold and a little bit harsh so um, I do feel like this might have a lot to do with this heartbreak that you're feeling here um, it could be that they found someone else that they're the, the new direction that they're moving in is with somebody else um, so that's not going to be for everyone but for some of you that might be the case the a third party situation here so um, yeah let's see now the overall outcome for you Libra what is the outcome of this connection or this relationship for this week where is this all heading towards Where is this all heading towards for Libra? At least, um, at least you are um, returning here to a place of balance here. Um, at least you're doing your best here to. <clears throat> To think positively even if negative things are happening to you I do feel like you're doing your best to 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 raise your spirits and or to keep your spirits high and your vibration high so I definitely feel like you're gonna be okay whatever it is this situation is for you whatever it is this three of swords heartbreak betrayal loss is for you whatever it is I do feel like you're gonna be okay because I feel like you're taking charge of your own healing and since you are an air sign Libra you can look at things from different perspectives and um, that definitely helps when when we look at things from from all sides um, from a from a place of objectivity um, it definitely helps us to to move on quicker and to heal quicker yeah because you 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 don't get consumed by your emo by your emotions um, uh, you can see the bigger picture so where is this all heading towards for Libra we have here the card of death reversed, death reversed. I feel like you're starting a process of transformation here. Um, you're in the beginning phase of a, of a big transformation, of a big shift or change in your life. We have here the nine of cups upright. Yeah, I, did, I was feeling positive. Yeah. So nine of cups upright is a card of happiness. It's a card of feeling content of feeling satisfied and of feeling um, good with yourself um, I almost feel like also with your conscience I feel like you have a clean conscience conscience um, okay and we have here the seven of wands so you're definitely blocking someone out of your life um, you're putting here um, a barrier here between you and somebody else. Um, so yeah, you're 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 fighting for yourself. You're defending yourself. Um, yeah, and it feels like you're you're in a place of happiness. Like I said, with the nine of cups, it's like you feel good with yourself. Um, you know that you did the right thing, um, you know that um, you did the best you could in this situation, and even if, it, if things didn't work out, or if things kind of turned in a negative direction, I feel like you have a clear conscience, because I feel like you know you did, um, you acted correctly, or you behaved correctly, and I feel like it's the other person that... Um, it's the other person that made the wrong decisions here. I don't feel like you made 
the wrong decision. So you are in a, in a place of transformation with the death reverse. You're beginning a phase, uh, a period of transformation. And yeah, you're, you're moving towards self-fulfillment, self-value, um, self self-confidence. And with the Seven of Wands, you're standing strong, you're standing in your power, you're defending yourself, and you're blocking away everything that is um, negative towards you, and that uh, threatens, to, threatens to break your peace and your balance, which I do feel like you have achieved here. So that's what I see for you, Libra. It feels very positive. So um, I hope this reading was helpful to someone, and I hope it resonated. If you feel like this message was your story and if you feel like it connected with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And yeah, Libra, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.